New at five, a local woman's fighting for results with new legislation. She hopes to give sexual abuse victims under 18 more time to seek justice. A bill failed last year, but this year bipartisan support in the House and Senate could deliver. News 6 investigator Mike Holfeld sat down with the woman who broke her silence to change the law. How old were you when you were abused? Two weeks past my 15th birthday. She's been haunted by that memory for decades. And this was someone you trusted? Yes, it was a teacher. A talented young pianist with a local high school chorus, allegedly violated by the man she looked to as her mentor, the choral director. Have you ever confronted him? Yes. Yes, I've confronted him. Is he in denial? Oh, no. He admitted everything. For Donna Hedrick, that's the point. He's legally protected by time. Under current Florida law, prosecution for a felony of the first degree must be commenced within four years after it's committed. And then you realize, my God, it wasn't just me. Yeah. News 6 first met Donna and two other alleged victims from the same school as they gathered to change the law. The yearbooks reminded them of who they were and the 40 years that had passed without being heard. I think it is the most amazing thing that finally somebody is listening to us. They broke their silence after seeing Donna's first interview with News 6 last year. The pain never goes away. Donna tells me it's been an emotional journey for all of them. Is there a healing at all now yes. that you're able to talk about it? Yes. I, I think being able to talk about it has helped and doing something about it has helped. What they're doing is continuing a social media petition drive that has already collected more than 27,000 signatures. I've had actually hundreds of women that have come forward that have been in that situation. Working with News 6 and State Senator Linda Stewart, Hedrick and company are pushing Senate Bill 170, the time limitation bill. The bill would remove the statute of limitation for prosecuting sexual battery against any victim under the age of 18, regardless of whether the victim reports the crime within 72 hours. If we can get this through, it'll be like a victory to healing. So I um, ask for your support. Stewart Senate Bill 170 unanimously passed the first Senate subcommittee last month. For SB 170 is reported favorably. Thank you. Thank you, Senators. An accompanying bill in the House titled Donna's Law is expected to pass as well. From now on, if someone abuses children sexually, they will never be able to stop looking over their shoulder that somebody's going to come after them someday. I want to uh, publicly thank those women for coming thank forward, you. and we're behind them 100%. Now, Hedrick tells me the law won't impact her case. I want to make that clear, because the law will only affect cases going forward. She told me she wouldn't have it any other way, and she wants future victims not to be silenced by time. We're supporting them on this. Mm -hmm. We're going to push this legislation all the way. Yeah. Incredible courage to come forward. So why did this bill fail previously, and does it look like it'll actually get through committee this time around? Uh, there's only a few weeks left, and, and it'll be close. Mm -hmm. One week left in November, one in December. That's it. But the good news is we have bipartisan support this, this time. Last time we didn't. And we still have next year's session, starts the 14th, as I recall. That will create a lot of pressure to get through committee and onto the floor for a vote. But again, yeah. Last time, Lisa, we didn't have the bipartisan support. Republicans and Democrats are on board this time, and so is News 6, as we were last year. I think it's going to go through. Seems like a no-brainer. You know, people should contact their legislator. Absolutely. You know. Politics only yeah. stops yeah. bills like Matt, this one. you and I have dealt with this before. <laughs> yes, we have. But we, we have. think uh, victory is at hand. All right. Mike Holfeld, thank you very much. My pleasure. Good to know.